Every youngster who picks up a cue to play this wonderful game dreams of winning, of becoming a champion. We may be a small nation, but like our rugby, have a proud tradition of producing great players. Max Boyce sang of a Welsh outside half factory, a production line of gifted rugby players built from South Wales coal. There was a time when we certainly had a snooker factory, manufacturing magicians of the bays, but that production line has started to run dry. Will we ever produce another Ray Reardon or Mark Williams? This week at the Welsh Open, two young talented Welsh amateur players were given wildcards to play with the big boys and to experience the big stage. 18-year-old Tyler Rees from my hometown, Tlenetli, and 15-year-old Jackson Page from Mark Williams' country, near Abervale, came here and created huge interest. Who is Jackson Page? Um, 15, from uh, Abervale. At the moment, he's living his dream. He's walking around buzzing at the minute. Shouldn't you be in school? Yeah, um, yeah, well, this week, yeah. But, uh, Take that bit of time off, like. One of the best bits is, you know, going down to the players' lounge, being able to practice amongst the pros, like, see how they, what they do in, with their time, and, you know, just being around this place and feeling like a player, feeling like you should be here, you know, that's the best thing. It's the right decision to put the two youngsters as the wild cards. Uh, there shouldn't be anyone, the older people, getting the wild cards, you know, they've had their day. Any experience that they can get at this level has got to be good. Young Jackson Page certainly enjoyed his time in the limelight, winning two matches before running into Judd Trump himself, a child prodigy a decade ago. The, the wild cards in these tournaments are perfect, I think. Um, you, they should only really go to sort of younger players um, that are looking for a chance, and um, it's, it's great experience for them. I would have loved to sort of had that opportunity before I was 16 to kind of see where I was at. Almost unseen to the mass media here in Cardiff, we caught a glimpse of the future of the game. Within a few hours of Jackson's live televised match with Trump on the very same table, a young Chinese 17-year-old beat world champion Mark Selby. He's been talked about for over a year now. I mean, he's had a good season so far in his first season. Showed, obviously, what a great player he is out there. He held himself together well. The Chinese production line is in full flow with so many incredibly talented players coming through. All the wild cards they've had over the last five, six years, playing at the venues on the star tables, is one of the main reasons, I think, that they're as good as they are now. The youngsters coming from China are un unbelievable players, unbelievable players. We need to start, you know, giving, our, giving the youngsters a chance. There are some ta really talented ones out, out there, but, um, you know, give them a chance and, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. Barry Hearn's mantra is that sports entertainment will thrive when competition for success is at its most fierce. But is modern elite snooker too brutal? It is brutal. You go on a little losing streak and you feel like you can't win a match then. When I was 13, 14, 15, I barely lost. Like I was winning them all. I then I, a massive step up then when I got on the tour. And then you sort of can't sort of win two matches in a row or three matches in a row. The format when I was coming through was kind of um, how it should be. I think you get a chance to build some momentum, get some confidence up against the lower ranked professionals and then um, get to the final venue and be playing the top players. I think nowadays it, it's, it's just a little bit too hard for the younger players. We need to give the next generation every chance to flourish in this brave new world of fierce competition. Let's hope it's not too long before our young Welsh player does lift the Ray Reardon trophy to continue our proud legacy as one of Snooker's superpowers.